Hello everyone, so today I will share Korean food recipe that you can try at your home. Check this out. Goat Cheese Stuffed Rolls Just when we thought dinner rolls couldn't get any better, we stuffed them with goat cheese. These golden brown beauties are rich, soft, and full of honey and herby goat cheese. Best part of a cheese stuffed roll? It doesn't need any butter. But we still opt for some anyway. The choice is entirely up to you, but the slightly sweet, cheesy center provides all. The necessary creaminess required for devouring a warm dinner roll. Plenty of cheese stuffed rolls call for pre-made dough, but making a good dinner roll isn't tough. You likely already have the ingredients on hand. Here are a few tips to help it go smoothly. Grab that kitchen scale. Having a good scale on hand will not only cut down your prep time and dishes, but by measuring cups. But it'll help you get accurate measurements for your ingredients, ensuring that you get the same results every time. Use a bowl scraper. This is an enriched dough, which means it's on the stickier side. To help get things moving, enlist the help of a rubber bowl scraper. Keep them room temp. These rolls don't need to be refrigerated. In fact, storing them in the refrigerator will cause the cold air to draw the moisture from the rolls. Causing them to stale much faster than if they were left at room temperature. Keep any leftover rolls in an airtight bag or container on the countertop. These are best eaten fresh. But to restore the leftovers to their former glory, we recommend reheating before serving. Either in the oven at 350 degrees or in the microwave until warmed through. Have you tried making these yet? Let us know how it went in the comments. Ingredients 1 half C, water 1 half C, plus 1 tablespoon heavy cream, divided 6 tablespoons unsalted butter, divided 1, 2 and a quarter TSP, packet, rapid rise yeast 3 and a quarter century, 390 grams, all purpose flour, sifted 4 tablespoons plus 1 and a half teaspoons. Honey, divided. 2 and a half teaspoons. Kosher salt, divided cooking spray, 2 large eggs, divided. 6 ounces. Goat cheese, room temperature, 2 tablespoons sliced chives, plus more for topping. 2 teaspoons. Thyme leaves, chopped, plus whole leaves for topping flaky sea salt. Directions Step 1. In a medium heat-proof bowl, microwave water, 1 half cup cream, 4 tablespoons butter. 
3 tablespoons honey in 15 second increments, stirring between each, until butter is almost melted. About 45 seconds to 1 minute. Whisk until butter is completely melted. Step 2. Pour into the large bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the dough hook attachment. Step 3. In a medium bowl, whisk flour and 2 teaspoons kosher salt. Add flour mixture to stand mixer bowl in 5 to 6 additions. Beating on low speed until combined between each, until dough begins to form. Step 4. Spray a large bowl with cooking spray. Using a bowl scraper, scrape dough into greased bowl and cover with plastic wrap. Place in a warm location and let proof until risen and doubled in size, about 1 hour. Step 5. In a small bowl, combine goat cheese, chives, thyme. Remaining 1 tablespoon plus 1 and a half teaspoons honey and 1 half teaspoon kosher salt. Step 6. Preheat oven to 400 degrees and grease a 9 inches square baking pan with cooking spray. Punch down dough. Using scraper, portion dough into 9 balls, about 85 grams, each. Punch down dough. Using scraper, portion dough into 9 balls, about 85 grams, each. Brush top of each ball with egg mixture. Top with a pinch of sea salt. Step 8. Bake rolls until tops are golden brown and crisp, 25 to 28 minutes. Step 9. In a small heat-proof bowl, microwave remaining 2 tablespoons butter. Brush tops of rolls with melted butter. Sprinkle with thyme and chives. Let cool slightly and serve warm. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later.